So guys, it's Monday, and I'm back at the house. Um, I went to get some more stuff. Um, a friend lent me his truck again. Uh, I have to pick him up at work at 4. It's 3 o'clock. I had a problem opening up the garage door. Um, my brother had to help me. He was here, him and his girlfriend. Uh, there he uh, corralling some things that need to be done. Uh, so I was talking to them for a bit, and I got sidetracked of why I was here. So, um, I'm just bringing some stuff, and then I gotta go pick, um, my friend's, uh, up, husband up, and, uh, I don't know when I could do this again. Um, uh, about my car, I'll talk about it in a little bit. So, guys, I am back at the apartment. I just went back to the house. Uh, I, did, I had to do something, and I actually... I was able to use the truck a little longer, so I took another trip to the house. And my brother had just texted me, let me know who was like coming back, and I had just pulled in the driveway when he texted me because he thought I was done. Um, but no, I still got more stuff. Got more stuff in the truck, and I gotta. Here's what I got so far done, you know. And I got this here. I got my closet full of my clothes here, but there's still a lot of stuff at the house. A lot of my baking stuff, a lot of uh, my pans for the kitchen, my spices, my stuff, <laughs> and then my electronics. And that's gonna be last. And then my bed, which I'm gonna have somebody help me with that. But, it, but the problem is, it's hard to get anybody to help me. And I'm doing this all myself, guys. I haven't had anybody help me. And my back is really bad. And I got a lot of pain, you know, and especially with all these problems, I'm trying the best I can. So, you know, I'm just like whew, taking a rest for a minute. But my back really hurts. It hurts bad. Oh. I'm gonna have to down tile them all or something. So I opened up my cleaning supply box and I pulled out one of the microfiber cloths and I tried to get work on the sink here. It was all full of like, you know, like a spackle and all that stuff. So it was really heavily bad. So I used some Comet and I tried to scrub as best I can. But you could see there's still pieces there that has to be, I gotta use a, like a mild abrasion to get it off. And I gotta really work at it. And I don't, like, I don't really have, you know, like a sponge with me now, see? So I'm gonna have to do that. And here I'm gonna have to take out these things off the counter. Got one there. Uh, and the best way of doing that is taking a heat gun or a hair dryer to it, heating it up and then peeling it off so it doesn't leave really any residue. And you guys have seen my hack on, I did the uh, spice video organization. I used uh, a hair dryer in order to get the labels off and then I washed it, whatever. So. Um, Maybe I'll put a link in the description, or I'll put an eye in the sky here, and uh, or whatever it is, um, and you can check that out. Other than that, I think I'm gonna leave, and I'm going to um, go back, and because my back is hurting, and uh, it's really bad. It hurts. So the only thing is now I got the shower here. Uh, I gotta clean this out. Got to really clean the, the floor looks just, you know, that's only what they can do, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to really buy a lot of stuff, guys, for this apartment. Try where I can get it to where it needs to be. So when I take a shower, um, I got to clean everything here. So, but like I said, here is what's remaining of everything, you know what I mean? So this is what you're left with when I do a job. It's your job to clean it, not theirs. Because it's the it's the construction people, it's not the landlord and it's not the superintendent. They're not doing it, it's the people they hire. So. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Tuesday. And I'm still at the house here. I'm just trying to contact uh, the electric company to try to get my name uh, moved into the apartment there. Uh, and I tried yesterday, it was having a problem 
uh, it wouldn't let me put the address in and it needed something else. So what I did was like, remember I said, I took a snapshot of the meter. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do today. But unfortunately I'm in the system. I just couldn't even verify anything. The system went down completely. Errors all over the place. Called, couldn't get nobody. I'm on the chat here. I think five still. Yeah, five. This co electric company is bad. They've caused a lot of problems and they're dragging their feet. Um, so it's just, it's just crazy. I am here with Mabes. She's here. And I got the other dog in the other room, in the family, family room corralled. Uh, because he's been rambunctious all day since we woke up. He woke us all up, going nuts, going crazy. Um, and uh, I had to um, corral him in there. He I, he was eating Mabes' food. Um, and Mabes looked like she wanted to eat. He pushed her out of the way. And he started eating uh, her food. I put more food out. He started eating it again. And I had to shock him and put him inside. I said, no, that's her food. That's hers. She didn't even get to eat. He's been such a pain in the neck today, all day. So I said, I'm sorry. You're going to have to be in there. I got stuff to do. I'm not going to have him run like while trying to get stuff done because he's a pain. You get up, he gets up. He's like, I, I, I don't know what they call him Blackie. They should have called him Shadow because every time you move, he moves with you. It's annoying. Mabes is not that annoying. Mabes is fun. She's good. She's a good dog. She's an old dog, so she's not a pain. But he he's a pain. He's a real pain. And then he looks at you and he barks. Like, like play with me. And then when you try to pet her, he gets very jealous. He doesn't want you petting her. He wants all the attention himself. And I'm like, no, get away. I finally corralled him when he was corralled. I was able to spend time with her and pet her and she enjoyed it you know what I'm saying this poor dog gets an ignored because that's what he wants you know so and it's it's just crazy Bible study was canceled for today so I'm here um, and my friend uh, left me the truck again so I'm gonna try to go back and uh, try to bring more stuff today um, and I'm just trying to get stuff done, and unfortunately, okay, now I'm four. Okay, let's see. I just got through, finally, through the chat with somebody, and then I tell them what's going on. It says, we do not offer that service chat, but I could put a callback request for you. <sighs> All this time. Um, well, lucky I was doing other things, too, so I just gave them the number. <sighs> it's ridiculous. So guys, I'm at the house, and uh, I just saw my brother and his girlfriend. Uh, they left. They had to go out and do something. Uh, there's a, a wheel missing on the door of the garage, and it was on the floor. And that's what the problem we had yesterday. It happened again, but this time it came off the track. Um, we've had a lot of problems with this garage door, even when my dad was alive. It was... It, there was a lot of problems, and I don't know if it's because of the accident when our neighbor crashed into the garage, damaging it. I don't know if that was the really reason, or it was before that, but it is what it is. And I wind up messing my, cutting my finger a little bit. I don't know if it scratched a little bit. So guys, I got to the apartment. Uh, I'm looking at this space right here and I'm like saying to myself, I still got so much stuff in that garage. I don't even know if I'm able to fit everything in this garage. I mean, in this apartment, uh, because, cause look what I got, man. Look at all this stuff. I mean, oh, it's just crazy. So guys, I wanted to briefly talk about what was wrong with my car um, and uh, what is the resolution to it right now was it was actually the catalytic converter that was clogged. The exhaust was clogged. Uh, I blew a, blown a gasket, um, basically, 
uh, and there's an oil leak as well, which I already know about that. Uh, he's replacing the other catalytic converter, the small one that's in the you know the, um, the lower part of the uh, the exhaust, and the main one doesn't have to be changed at this time. But he said eventually the main catalytic converter is going to have to be replaced sometime long down the road because um, that's probably going to get clogged too. Uh, but at the time now, which my car is 155 miles on it now, I mean, I mean I still can get a good use out of it but going down the road maybe i'm probably gonna get in the car i have to, no choice because i'm you know i need to depend on it you know oh. so that's what's going on with the car